to keeping connected after hours. We have a panel discussion tonight and we're talking about a few spicy, saucy questions. And we have a panel of very strongly opinionated people here with us. We have Sam, Christina, John, Jesse, and Phil. Welcome guys. So glad we're here at our favorite venue, the Fairfield Theater Company. And I'm gonna start with our first question of the evening. Now, here's the scenario. There's just somebody you've liked for quite a while and you've been sort of, you know, smoothing this person, flirting with them, maybe going out, maybe just taking nice walks. And you finally have sex with them and it's not good. What do you do? Do you tell them? Do you try it again or that's it? It's a deal breaker. Any thoughts? I say you try it again. You try it again? Why not? Okay. You would say you try know, it again? Absolutely. Because why, you know, uh -huh. with anything, why on the first try are we, you know, right there on the... If I took a foul shot mm -hmm. and I missed, <laughs> what do I do? I try again. You gotta you practice. Get no, like I'm that. pretty sure that when you shoot a foul shot, if you don't get it in the basket, you don't get a redo. <laughs> oh, I, I usually get two shots. You get two shots. You get two shots. I'm you not go. a sports expert. <laughs> you you mean. So, okay, so Christine, what do you feel about succeed. this? If the sex was just really bad, would you go back and try it again or no? No. Next. No. There yes. are only so many things you can fix. If you're telling me that it's really bad and horrible and awful. So the chemistry wasn't there, and you say yeah. no. If there's no chemistry, and um, uh -huh. you know, no rebound. Yeah, but why put all the blame on one person? Well, there's no, we're no not blame. blaming anybody. It's just sort of a well, you know, you tried, you gave it a shot, and, and either we try it again, or you just say yeah. But I mean, were they were they were they fun? Did you have a good time? Was it, if I go I to mean, a restaurant, was it, it was a whole night of disaster, yeah. or yeah, or well, was it like, hey, you know, I had a good time, and you know what, uh -huh. we went home and we Got had our it? thing and. If I order no. a filet and they serve me a chicken fried steak, I'm sending it back and moving on to the next oh, restaurant. Oh, Sam, how about you? What do you yeah, think? Uh, I mean, I guess if we're placing uh, that much importance on sex, then you're probably not really uh -huh. looking for a relationship with anyone. Mm, um, I, I feel like if, uh, if you really enjoy the person, then uh, whether or not uh, the first time you have sex with them is like that satisfying, mm -hmm. should, you know, it shouldn't be... Uh, that high on your priority list. You know, mm -hmm. you should have maybe common interests, uh, right. shared goals. That end, I mean, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. Uh -huh. and, uh, you know, so the practice next thing Next time comes might up be again. phenomenal. And that's kind of a good thought there, which is sometimes if you're just looking for sex, okay, then it's just sex. But if you're looking for that companion that really you're having a really good time with and you really sync up on some things, and maybe you need a little bit of work on the other things, right? How about you, Jesse? What do you think? I agree a little bit on that that side. I mean, if you maybe give them, or you know, if it's a, a her in that case, one more chance mm -hmm. to see, you know, is it going to work? If mm -hmm. you really have that great chemistry, you really, really like this person. Like, you can't mm -hmm. just give up right away. But if then it's you're like, out. but you know, there's no chemistry, times, you're, you're not like, chicken fried. But if there's no, no chemistry, chemistry yeah, then, then why would you do it again? Uh, well, I agree right. with that as well. How about you, John? What are you thinking? Yeah, I mean, like, I I agree with the same, and I think you can't base like the whole thing just on mm -hmm. sex. I mean, mm. yeah, sex mm -hmm. is great and everything. What well, the person was having like a, mm. a bad a bad day. Okay, it's it's one time, maybe give it a few. I mean, but there is, I guess, so many times you mm -hmm. can have a redo. Sex uh, is still a little important. Yeah, it definitely is. I'm, 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 not, no. I'm not downplaying it at all. Uh -huh. I'm just saying like the person's, if you said in your question, the person uh -huh. has great qualities. There's like if, if they look great, they act great, they're similar very nice interest. to you. Similar interest, yeah. very nice to you. And you very and you really hit it off for maybe like mm -hmm. however long you wait, weeks, month or whatever. Uh, and then you have it and it's mm -hmm. mes, mes or not even good at all. I mean, mm. I'd give it a few more chances. Now, if you're not looking for a relationship and you're just looking for like a good time a good once in a up. while, then if the first time yeah, it's bad, then just move Forget on. There's nothing yeah. in the world, you can find somebody better. <laughs> I love it. All right, well, so we have a, you know, a few different opinions here in the group. Um, I detect a few of the guys are a little bit more open-minded, perhaps. Although, you know, Jesse, you're sort of on the edge, too. So maybe the, the question is if this person um, has some similar interests, some things that you really get along with, you know, maybe try it a few more times. Just don't get down on that one bad first time. Although it sounds like Christina is pretty specific about this. <laughs> so um, if you have an opinion about this, we'd love to hear it. So like us on Facebook, but you could also text your your opinion to us. We're also looking for more questions. So if you have something you want us to discuss on air, text us to the number below.